Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 66 of Luke chapter 22. When it was day, the council of elders of the people assembled, both chief priests and scribes, and they led Jesus away to their council chamber, saying, If you are the Christ, tell us. But he said to them, If I tell you, you will not believe. And if I ask a question, you will not answer. But from now on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. And they all said, So you are the Son of God? And he said to them, You say correctly that I am. And then they said, What further need do we have of testimony? For we have heard it ourselves from his own mouth. The Nicene Creed varies from one denomination to another, but it succinctly describes what those of us who are Christians believe regarding our Savior's two natures, human and divine. In summary, it states, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, true God from true God, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary and was made man. This fact was universally acknowledged by both angels and human beings, as we see in Matthew 16, Luke 1, and John 11. The fourth chapter of Luke tells us that even the demons knew the truth, and so it's important for us to understand as well. If we don't, our faith will remain immature, hindering our ability to give an account for the hope that is in us. As C.S. Lewis said, a man who was merely a man and said the sort of things Jesus said would not be a great moral teacher. He would either be a lunatic, on the level with the man who says he's a poached egg, or else he would be the devil of hell. You must make your choice. Either this man was and is the Son of God, or else a madman or something worse. But let us not come up with any patronizing nonsense about his being a great human teacher. He has not left that open to us. To better understand who Jesus is, spend time in prayer and ask Him to teach you. He's ready to answer.